And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Jace Marauders. That's right, we're going to be playing a Legion Marauder deck with Piltover and Zaun with Echo and Jace for our champions. One thing that we can do is if we level up Jace, we get to double cast our six plus mana uh, cards, and one of those could be Strength in Numbers. So we could actually double cast our Strength in Numbers and get four Legion Marauders in play attacking, giving them like plus four, plus four. That could be pretty sweet. Plus, if we're going wide with Legion Marauders and Forge Workers and things like that, they're, those are going to be cards that are going to really like the Acceleration Gate, you know, giving um, those bonuses to the Legion Marauders. That should also work out pretty well. So we're going to uh, use Echo as our other champion with some Predict cards, Practical Perfectionist, and Time Trick to help us find things that we need. Also, we'll have the Fallen Feline with the Hexite Crystals. And then finally, if all that's not enough, we're going to be using Parallel Convergence. So I thought about calling this like Parallel Marauders or, or Convergence Marauders, but we're going to have three copies of Cold Shot in here that will create Parallel Convergence where we can get free attacks with um, all of our allies, and that's awesome with Legion Marauders, right? Free attacks with Ephemeral, Legion Marauders, grow them, and then we can attack with our normal ones. So, of course, when, if we're creating those Parallel Convergence, we're going to want to find them, and that, that can be another thing that our Predict cards can do, is find those Parallel Convergence. So that's going to be the deck. It's Meme Tier Day. We're going to be playing it on over in Normal. We'll play our five games over there. And it's Jace Marauders. Mozart, thank you so much for that resub. 12 months now. I appreciate that, Mozart. Yeah, so hopefully that can actually work out. Parallel Convergence with Legion Marauders, because, yeah, that would be pretty insane. So Jace Lux, I like the Shock Blast, and obviously I like Parallel Convergence. I think I'm going to keep this, but I could see this kind of going downhill a little bit if they have, like, a whole bunch of, you know, three mana, three threes and stuff. But this is a, a good predict hand, right? Because we got, like, our one card to put in that we want to try to find, and then, like, a bunch of predict cards also. But let's, I guess we lead with Pharaoh's Financier and just kind of keep up. Ooh. Assembly line or Glorious Evolution? Man, giving all of our things augment would be awesome. The problem with Glorious Evolution, you know, makes like Shock Blast cost 5 and, and therefore not a 6 cost spell for Jace anymore. Um, but it's just such a high impact card. I don't know. I'll chicken out and take the assembly line, but... A Glorious Evolution can be such such a high impact card. Okay. Gonna go and play that. And then save the other two spell mana. So we're saving two spell mana. So four plus two, of course, is six. So that's enough for a six mana spell. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. Let's get started. So we're taking a hit there, but we do have a pretty decent open attack. want to do that before they play like their own shock blast to kill my two three threes Little help. My past flashes. Ah! all right fallen feline try to find a hexite crystal how about that okay now we can get a lot more time tricks to help level up echo or just grab another shock blast I kind of want to just make more time tricks, honestly, and just try to level up this Echo. We already have one Shock Blast, one Strength in Numbers. Let's do it. All right, chat says more time tricks. Let's do it. So seven mana. Not enough for Crystal plus Shock Blast. Smack 
So I'm down to 12. Some parallel convergence. This thing goes away. All right, nine mana. Three. And just shock blast. Just open attack. So I attack. They can take a good amount. They like if they shock blast, kill these two, level up Lux, get a final spark. Ugh. You think they have back to back? Could do this. Man, the options are something else. I'm gonna do this. I hope they don't have back to back. Wow, they did have back to back. Gross. Gross. Hey Rosa, got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great, we're running into heat issues. What you got? No! By the light! <laughs> yeah, strength of numbers was definitely an, an option too. I don't there's a lot of lines that we could have done. Man, a really good round for them, though. Having two units for three total mana. Please no life steal. Just as long as there's just no life steal. Yeah, there's no life steal. I can't really beat any spell, like if they have, you know, basically anything, I can't beat it. The power spike. Okay. I won't stand okay, good hand. The Shock Blast line, you know, that line didn't work out at all. You know, should have gone for a different line. That one did not work out. Okay, we got Teemo, Caitlyn. Let's go ahead and send the time trick back. I don't know. I guess we have a Hexite Crystal. But I just don't know if I want to spend two... Mm, I guess we should. I just don't know if I want to send, spend two mana on the time trick. You know, gets the Puff Cap deck. Don't love doing that, but I do really like this Fallen Feline. And I guess since we do have the Hexite Crystal that we're putting in there, we should probably keep it. Good Mystic Shant. Go ahead and just attack before they play like a Puff Cap Peddler that's a 3 3 and makes my attacks a lot worse. Cool. And then they get, you know, they have to play this before a Peddler. So that's good.
Mm. Wow. I think we just make a strength in numbers. I can take this round off and then play strength in numbers next round. Boo. Alright, they got Peddler. Or we play Legion Marauder? Let's play the Legion Marauder. I don't, the thing that I don't like about taking the round off is that we lose one mana. Alright, create the Parallel Convergence in the deck. Good draw. So now we have three Hexite Crystals in there somewhere. Let's get some more Marauders. Even if they have like removal spells to kill these Marauders, like these Marauders were just free from this Financier. And so they're eating up a lot of spells. Alright, that's one out of two for Jace. Ooh. Seven mana next round. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Safety disengaged. The Forge of Tomorrow. Can you improve perfection? Safety disengaged. So they only got three cards over there. Not a whole lot of cards. Bottom the trail. Hmm. Scoping the area. Hmm. Can I take three? Of course, you know, against the Puffcap deck, I want to have my life total as high as possible. So it's, you know, like, what basically do we block with this thing? Um, to save three life. Watch your toes. And I guess so. Yeah, I think we kind of have to block. Wow, four Puffcaps on the one card? Well, good thing they didn't play that before attacking. I would have taken a bunch of damage from that Caitlyn. From the level up Caitlyn. Kill Kate right now. Yeah, no, 
No traps activated. Wow. Never mind. Never mind. Wow. I didn't feel too bad about this until then. Oh, man. Now I can't attack, because I can't attack into Caitlyn, because Caitlyn's going to do all the damage to me. Wow. Yeah, again. I guess you can attack. I can't attack with the other two. Alright, well, I have to try to kill him on open attack. I have to hope we just don't have all those puff gaps. Man, Karina. Yeah, Karina was GG's, man. Was, I felt pretty good about this game until that Karina. So we know by just attacking, we're dead. Anything else, we're dead. Um, okay, we're dead there too. Wow. This has been the story of the day. Alright, so we know that they're going to have a perfect hand also, because everybody does. I like Mystic Shot in this matchup quite a bit, so I like the Financier and Mystic Shot. I actually don't know if I really like the Champions too much, especially the Echo, really weak to, you know, different Frostbite cards, Troll Chan- uh, sorry, Brittle Steel, that kind of stuff. The Jace, yeah, so the Echo Mull, the Jace I wasn't sure about. I was really considering Mull getting the Jace also. Victory requires a sharp blade. If it's a people problem, I'm taking Glorious Evolution this time. We didn't take it before. I'm taking it this time. Glorious Evolution plus Strength in Numbers, those, those will still be two 6 plus cost spells for Jace. Uh, Jace's Acceleration Gate won't get doubled, but whatever. We'll figure it out I if we get there. So that's why I didn't lead with the Forge of Tomorrow to see if they played LeBlanc, so I could shoot LeBlanc. Ouch. <laughs> Talk about these hands, though, that our opponents always, today. It's like, yeah, we'll just have our, our champion with pr protection on round three. I need. I need it two more rounds before we can glorious evolution. Many tribes under one banner. Hmm. On the trade. Out. 
have to worry about the six mana card. The Reckoning. I like both of these these cards to go along with the Glorious Evolution of like one mana draw card. Um, I think I'm gonna take the time trick though because we we'll want to find like specific things most likely. But basically playing that because we we're gonna waste our mana. So no reckoning. So that's nice. We got both of them. We got the called shot and the time trick. We got them both. The, that, that's going to be really good against like reckoning type cards, right? How we can like grow these to be five power. That's going to be important. Take six. Down to nine. I don't know. You? I help when I can. Shut up when I can. We can deal like with a Jace, we can deal six and get two things. This will be a 5-5. Five, five. I see. So yeah, we got options here of either double strength of numbers or double weapons of the lost. Deal six and get two Trifarian shield breakers. Just really worried about reckoning with strength of numbers, but I guess we force them, <clears throat> force them to have it. Reckoning that is, because like if they don't have reckoning, they kind of lose. So. Force them to have reckoning. So, Only the no reckoning. How about that? Our opponent didn't have the best possible card one time. That's still fine. Parallel Convergence! It's happening! It's happening! All the world on one arrow. Show me that again. <laughs> Free attack? Yeah! And we'd still have the seven mana, you know, uh, deal six, get two Trifarian Shield Breakers, but I think my opponent's probably going to die here. Yeah. All right. It it actually worked out for us one game. The deck did its thing. GGs. 
All right, so Bandle Fizz. Lulu, Poppy probably means Bandle Tree. We don't have any uh, removal for Bandle Tree. Um, so we're going to have like round three Forge tomorrow, round four... I don't know, like Cold Shot or something? I, I don't know if we're supposed to keep that Cold Shot. <laughs> we're 10 and 2. But dude, our deck is good. All right, I'll fix that. Let's do it. Sound bug though goes. Sound goes away if I ever click away from the screen. Wait, no, not eleven and two. <laughs> Maybe even better. All right, there we go. One and two. All right. So do we gl glorious evolution again, or do we go with this anomaly that can do crazy stuff? Man, glorious evolution's just kind of messed up. Yeah, that's why I played the 2 2. Looks like we're gonna need some blockers. This requires my largest official hand. Glorious Evolution just kinda messed up. Save our three spell mana. I think. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. This mama is a beast mama. We're still two rounds away from beyond a glorious evolution. I guess we just go double strength of numbers. Come on, mate. Strength of numbers this round, strength of numbers next round attack. The thing is, is like their deck loves playing against Marauders, right? Like they love just putting out blockers. They it's like exactly what they're trying to do is just put out blockers. So like this is uh, kind of a poor matchup in that regard. But I don't know, I guess I guess that's the best I got. Get some strength and some numbers. But as today goes, they just have a, a really, really great curve out and also have their bandle tree. So, good game. We're gonna have to like time trick, look for parallel convergence. I get like free attacks. Something. Okay, called shot. Okay, there we go. <laughs> these, these blockers are just so good though. All right, so we got that in the deck. Stop. First me, then the world. All right, take out some blockers. They're at seven. Parallel convergence. Can play a Jace, can play an Echo. You can find parallel convergence. Hexite Crystal would be pretty nice. You just gotta find parallel convergence though.
Because even though I could put, like, another good attacker out here, like, they probably can put two blockers out at the same time. You know, like, there's a lot of cards that, like, put multiple bodies out there. So that gets us 11 in, and now we're going to be predicting more, you know, just using Perfectionist. Predict just, you know, we got to find that Parallel Convergence. Called Shot would give me another copy. Yeah, it's... Is it worth getting Called Shot or just skipping? Maybe worth... I guess... I guess it's worth skipping. See you soon, friendos. Yeah, I guess it's worth skipping. their fourth loping telescope. Alright, so they're at 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. No parallel convergence. As long as they can't get to 10 out of 10 this round. Hopefully they can't. They're still at 8. They need two other regions. They only have 6 mana. We can, you know, play this and try to hit some Overwhelm. Alright, good. They couldn't get to 10. Let's try to hit some Overwhelm. We play Echo first. I guess let's see. No, because Echo plus Acceleration Gate leaves me with three mana. I can't cast Parallel Convergence anyway for three mana. So not worth it. Yep. Pray for Overwhelm, Elusive. Pray they don't have any more. Not Overwhelm and Elusive on the same thing. <laughs> like one Overwhelm, one Elusive. Now they can just mini morph my Jace. Uh, but they only do have five blockers. They have to. They have to play six. Like they have to have six blockers, right? Like all my attackers are lethal. All right, cool. And then they'd have to cover up the Bandle Tree for a six blockers. So basically, they'd have to cover up the Bandle Tree, have six blockers, also mini morph, and then have like another Bandle Tree. The following round. Echo Sever. Echo Mirror. Uh, probably a good Marauder matchup. There's a Marauder right there. This looks like a good hand. I think I'll just keep this. Uh, this one's a fairly easy one to uh, pilot. Oh, we don't have the attack token in round three. That's too bad. We'll have the attack token in round four with Chase. Nice day. If you're you haven't thought of like a fair nerf to tree? This is my time. Um, I guess a fair nerf could be it just gives you a random follower every single round and maybe not not the ones that you're missing. Like not automatically the ones that you're missing. And so you still get your followers, but like maybe you can't find like that one extra region. Watch out. Mm. Anyone hurt? <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna do my do my thing. Okay. Want to make me a few extra boards? Yes! I, I mean, sure, you know, whatever. I guess that we need to open attack, because otherwise they can Mystic Shop my Legion Marauder. Um, if 
I just play Jace. But then again, if I play Jace, they, they Mystic Shot my Legion Marauder. I still have Jace attacking, so I guess that's still not that bad. I'll play Forger tomorrow afterwards. Alright, we'll just open it time. Look what I found. Let me just get the the forever bonus, which is an important bonus against Mystic Shot decks. Turning these into three health. Heroes go hungry. Yeah, that's kind of the problem though with my line is uh, not protecting against Sivir. If I don't play anything here, I waste one mana, but then I can strength the numbers next round. I can strength the numbers open attack. Now I can't do that, but we can um, we can play like Jace and then strength the numbers. Yeah, I don't. I really don't have any problem with how Band with how Vandal Tree is set up and everything. I don't. I don't have any problem with the card. I think the best way to nerf Vandal Tree is just make a couple of more playable landmark removal spells, you know, like aftershock level removal spells that aren't just like, they're not like mystic shot level, like where you just automatically put them in decks because they're like great removal spells, but just like some other regions, make sure all the regions have like some kind of answer they, they could play if they wanted to. I just don't want to play the Jace. I feel like there's, I don't know, like a, you know, give the, give the Jace vulnerable, challenge it kind of card. Something I'm scared of. If it's a people problem, I'm your True Shot Barrage man. getting doubled by Jay sounds kind of interesting. We yeah, see? It when they run. Knew it. Called it. Business as usual. Man, I'm good. Come on, man. Again, Legion Marauders. Oh. Right in negation? Wow. I guess that card's good. Wow. That turns this game around. So again, I feel like if I just play Strength in Numbers, they're going to kill it fairly easily. I think I'm just going to make a new Pharos Financier and play Pharos Financier and Cold Shot this round. Because I don't, I don't want to just put another one of these things out for to get Merciless Huntered. Merciless Hunter. So I gave the Jace Challenger anyway. So I can just challenge the Sivir. It's possible they have another Sivir in hand because they just they just kind of threw away a, a Ricochet last round, so they could just be sitting on like lots of Sivirs. These four twos are really good blockers, right? For my Legion Marauders, like there's an army of four twos.
blast. Deal three, two, one. I'll get rid of the spell shield and kill this echo. I would have liked to play the forge of tomorrow first, of course, but you know we got to. I gotta play this before they can just attack with the echo, or they can just attack with the echo. And our opponents have had some good hands today. So if they have um, the absolver, we just lose. Yeah, I can't. There's no one mana spells in my deck for me to time trick into. So I think we just go to four, I guess. Just die to double Mystic Shot. Doesn't sound ideal, but. Chrono break, it's over. You know, like, there's a lot of things that they could hit that would make this over. But hopefully not. Just play a unit or two and pass, or play nothing and pass. Yeah, play like that card. Good blocker. Okay, called shot. No chrono break, no chrono break. Time that our opponent doesn't have amazing hand, that would be nice. Really hoping they don't find another Chrono Break. Because <laughs> obviously we can't handle any more. Oh, I'm one mana short from playing both Shock Blast and Weapons of the Lost. Let's have some fun. So let's play you. Just out of Took a few timelines, but you're okay now, right? Yeah, landmark refill spell mana, but that's still only like 13 mana that we would have had access to this round, and cost 14 mana to play both of those. They can't have another Chrono Break already, right? They just played Level Up Echo last round. And I already had one Chrono Break. Now we got more Sivers. Told you Does give me a unit I can play this round. Surprised they're trading there. My plans. I'm really surprised they traded there. This is my time. <laughs> yep. We have we've had the best luck today.
By we, I mean my opponents. I don't think it was too far off. I think it, it did a lot of really good stuff. I think if there was one card I was the least impressed with was the Iterative Improvement. I could see that just being uh, two more removal spells, because you can see there, like, we just kind of need a little bit more removal in a lot of those times. Like, I could see playing a couple of Thermogenic Beams um, to be able to uh, just kind of fit in the curve wherever, or also be a 6-plus cost spell for Jace. Um, I, I think that Iterative Improvement was probably the, the one card not really too necessary. And we could find a lot of good things to do with thermogen Thermogenic Beam. Otherwise, you could still play, like, that third assembly line, right? Like, getting another one of those in would probably be pretty nice. Just getting, you know, having those multiple blockers. You play one Thermo Beam, one of those. Could also play an Aftershock if you do want to be able to destroy a Landmark instead of the Thermo Beam. Uh, also, Incisive Tactician, being able to rally, that could really help different times, like, with your Marauders. Like, that that's... You know, if you want another top end card, that's the one that I would I would recommend. Um, but I think that we're okay without it. But that that would be the one I'd recommend. I think I'd want like a thermo beam um, and another assembly line, or just or two thermo beams. Um, you know, either way there. Okay, uh, but that's going to be it though for Jace Marauders. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all been enjoying these games today. I know our opponents are just doing everything they could possibly want their deck to do. <laughs> so that's been the story of today. Um, but it's still been a pretty fun day with, uh, you know, doing some cool stuff so far. So we got one more after this. Um, but uh, that's going to be it for Jace Marauders. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next video.